So Chris and I were arguing about these things over here, like this, this can't be real, look at this. And then we've got a gentleman here, Steve, from what's the company that- Hover Surf. Hover Surf. Hover Surf. It's, I would love to surf on one of these things. And they are real. They are real. These are real bikes that are currently owned by the Dubai Police Department. Wow. And a couple of other uh, fire rescue agencies around the world are looking, are uh, prototyping them. Right so now. you told me a bunch of stuff before uh -huh. that's like, okay, 400 pound max cargo weight. If it's a fire and rescue, maybe it's you plus a passenger, but I, it almost doesn't look like a passenger. What do they actually use it for? Right, so basically if it were a, a rescue situation, getting somebody out of a flood zone or whatever, uh, you could actually put this in drone mode. Can you walk me over there? Like if sure. I'm holding your hand yeah. or whatever? Sweet, we're going to we'll get a close up. I can duck this if need be. There you go. Look at this um, thing. So, uh, carbon fiber? Yeah, carbon fiber, uh, 200 pounds of thrust per engine. Mm -hmm. So obviously six engines here. Um, uh, you're looking at about 80 miles an hour top speed. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, altitude is unlimited. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's limited by the pilot's fear factor. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could. Be, I can imagine. It's like playing a video game or right. something. It just doesn't look like this. Looks totally prototypey, right? This is so. This is prototype because we don't have the electronics inside it yet. The guts are missing. This one is. This one is real. Let's go over to this one. Okay. I gotta see this thing. So, this is basically you take that thing, you wire it up and this is locked in but this is this is just that with electronics in it and, and a whole lot less safe and, and a whole lot less safe so <laughs> wow. what we what we did is we, we replaced the propellers with edf's electric ducted fans ah uh, yeah right yeah. that makes a lot of sense. you think it add weight but then you've got the carbon fiber you got the carbon fiber so it adds a little weight but it's overcome by the extra thrust so this version right here is capable of producing uh, about 700 pounds of thrust. Wow. Um, roughly 20 to 25 minutes of flight, depending on weight. Okay. Um, altitude, we limit it through our LiDAR system to 16 feet, simply because that's high enough to get over traffic and get to an emergency. So that's the idea, is just to get there quickly? Right. The idea is just to get over traffic, get somewhere quickly. Um, in the other example I was giving you for fire and rescue, we could put in drone mode, drop a couple rope ladders, and carry two people Whoa, to safety if they were stranded. What? That is awesome. Yeah, so <laughs> there's a lot of use cases that we're exploring. Yeah. The Dubai police are looking at this, for example, just for traffic monitoring. So huh. go up, spot possible accidents or road blockages where they need to get. Can we walk around sure. a minute? Yeah, you got free. some fans, there's like the headlights and stuff going on. Right. Wow, and these look like just a gearless carbon fiber props right so whoa yeah is yeah. he gonna start it up no i hope not <laughs> yeah we gotta back up <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> look so, at this uh, so the drone so it's joystick drone controlled so the uh, the best pilots on these are we found uh motocross guys and drone pilots those are the two types of tests. you're looking pilots. for volunteers because yeah. <laughs> you drone pilot? So, a little bit, yeah, uh, yeah. So I had a hard time with this, and I'm a former fighter pilot. Oh my goodness. And I had a really tough time with this, so. It's crazy to me, because you see the drone, like, demos, and it's like you can't crash it, right? You know, so something like this, where you you have that full control, but that also means you have control and yeah, you can crash. Control. Yeah, full control, right, exactly. Huh. So if we operate in drone mode, so we want this as a dual purpose. Um, some of our customers are looking at drones just like Amazon will look at it to haul to and fro. Right, right. Right, yeah. so that's one that's one use case. Someone empties a can of bear spray, you need to get people out of there right. quickly. Exactly. Yeah. In other use cases, you want to have a pilot on board where he can control and go where he's needed to sure. get to the scene of some type of event. How much are these? So this is $150,000. Can the public buy them? Like if I have a ranch and I'm like, hey, here's 150. <laughs> You can, unfortunately, um, we're not releasing them for public use because of liability and safety. Uh, but yes, this is- The government shut down, we yeah. can do this. <laughs> <laughs> we could. Yeah. And uh, this is considered an ultralight vehicle under FAA regulations. Yeah. So it's legal for me to sell to you right now. Wow. For 150,000. Yeah. So if you want to get your wallet- and But how I operate cash. it, it might not be illegal, right? Right. That's the key. Right, yeah. and that's why we decided to limit it to 
uh, first responders, law enforcement. So cool. And I think we want to keep it that way for the foreseeable future. We want to keep it in the hands of safe professionals. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Protect your reputation. Right. Yeah. And and also protect the public. So we don't want it in the wrong person's hands. It's incredible. Steve, thank you so yeah, much. I'm going to circle around and then duck out. Sure. Is that cool? Of course. Thank you. Oh, this is so cool, you guys. We got got to cross the ropes and get a close up. This thing is, this is a real thing. It's flown in Dubai. I can't believe it. What do you think, Chris? It's definitely pretty wild. <laughs> I mean, you know, didn't expect it, but yeah, this it's is cool, crazy. Man. This is awesome. Well, let's keep going. All right.